Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error message when attempting to load or launch Microsoft Word that says that Word could not create the work file. Check the temp environment variable. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be to actually open up the search menu. Type in sysdm.cpl. Go ahead and open up that item. Should be a control panel item in here. And you want to select the advanced tab. And then underneath startup and recovery, there should be a button that says environment variables. Go ahead and select that. Select the new button that corresponds underneath versus user variables for, and then again, whatever your user account name is up here. Don't select the new one down here, select it underneath the user variable section up here at the top. And then for variable name, you want to type in percent sign user profile, percent sign, again, percent sign user profile, and then another percent sign. And then in the variable name, you want to type in the drive where Windows or Microsoft Word is installed, which in most cases, it's a C drive. If you're unsure, you can always open up the search menu, type in File Explorer, Go ahead and open that up. And then if you select this PC on the left side, you should see a little Windows icon above the hard drive now on the right. Whatever's in parentheses here is the hard drive letter. So you might have to swap out the C with a D or an E or some other letter. That's OK. And now you want to just type in a colon and then backslash users, backslash, and then whatever your user account name is here. And you can see there's a value up here as well, so you can just basically mirror copy that. And then once you have done that, here you want to go ahead and select OK. And then select OK again, OK. And then you want to go ahead and restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point, your issue has been resolved. So the next thing you could try would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm gonna have a couple of commands in the description of the video, go ahead and copy it. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste that in, hit enter. And then once you've done that, go ahead and copy the second command. I'm going to have in the description of my video and then hit enter again. And then once you have done that, go ahead and close out of here. And then you do want to restart your computer one more time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.